So, here's another analogy that works extremely well for the backhander, a frisbee. So, I'm going to whip a frisbee in the direction I want the ball to go. So, imagine the sole of the club, if you know I wanted to skip a frisbee off the pavement or off the concrete and give it a nice little rise out there, so I would skip through. So what we're trying to do here with the sole of the club, when we open up the face of the club, you're basically angling the hand in a way that would make the sand move in that direction. So if I was in water right now and I'm going to spray some water towards somebody, I'm not going to do this. I can't, there's too much resistance. So if you've got too much bounce in the sand, not good. And if you don't have enough bounce, then the leading edge is going to dig, not good either. So just the right amount of bounce. For me, it's about eight degrees. So I'm opening the face of the club and I'm going to use the sole of the club to spray a divot of sand onto the green where I want the ball to land. So it's about how much momentum do you need to land the sand in that direction. So if I'm going to go to the yellow flag here, always pick an intermediate point in front, a little clump of sand or a, a pebble, and I'm going right edge of the pin, club in the center ball forward, club about 30 degrees open, and I'm going to spray some sand onto the green between the fringe and the pin and let the ball trickle down to the hole. Spray the sand. You see how easy that came out? So I'm never trying to lift the ball. I'm never trying to lift sand. It's like a snow plow. If you spray the sand, if you angle your hand just right and you spray the sand, then it's going to send a little jet of sand onto the green where you want the ball to land. I'm going to go to the white flag. Intermediate point. Got to have it. Our side vision is really bad. There. Club in the center, ball forward. Spray a divot of sand onto the green where I want the ball to land. Look at that comes out like a charm. So for hard compact sand, so this is right now is very fluffy sand, I'm using a Ping ES wedge. The Ping ES wedge, if you look at how this works, <clears throat> so I've got a TS and an ES. The flop shot, do it over here. So you see the the lob wedge has a ground out back. There's your C grind. And then the ES, notice, has a wonderful channel and the back hasn't been ground out. That's only eight degrees of bounce, but because it's wider, it acts more like a 14 degrees. But because of this channel, it really helps project the sand. It is such a great club in fluffy sand. And this one right here in hard compact sand is unbeatable, okay? So that's what we're looking for in the bunker. And uh, so here, let me look at, let me have you look at it from behind here. Okay. So yellow flag, spray the sand onto the green where I want the ball to land. How sweet is that, huh? And then white flag. Intermediate point. Got it. Spray the sand onto the green where I want my ball to land. See how sweet that is? So all I'm doing is focusing on where I want that little divot of sand to land. And that automatically sets me up. So I'm using momentum. I'm using the weight of my arms and club to spray the sand onto the green where I want my ball to land. So I hope you enjoyed this little backhand episode. Stay tuned for next week. We're going to do a little putting session. I'm going to show you why lead hand dominant players do way better with lead hand low putting strokes. See you then.